Welcome again, young trickster. I see you have been diligent in your efforts to forge bonds with those around you. You have done well in such a short time. Your arrangement with the counselor is an interesting development, one I did not expect but can only commend. Confronting one's own inner demons and even facing those who may have contributed to your current situation takes great courage. Thank you for your praises, but I still can't see any signs of the metaverse returning. I've been doing everything you said on my end. When will this be useful? Patience, trickster. You have taken important steps on your journey, but there is still much work to be done and a long road ahead. The bonds you have formed so far are just the beginning. However, you may soon find that the power controlling this reality is not as stable as it appears. Keep an eye out for signs of cracks in the facade, for they may provide the opportunity you seek. What do you mean? You may be surprised by what you discover in the days to come. For now, I encourage you to continue forging bonds with those around you. Remember, it is not enough for these relationships to be superficial. They must be genuine connections built on trust and understanding. Only then will they be lending you their power in order to awaken your true potential. I understand, but that's easier said than done. How am I supposed to build genuine bonds with brainwashed happy puppets? It is not a simple task. But I have faith in your perceptive abilities. Even under his control, the hearts of your friends and allies yearn for something more. Seek out the truth within them, and you will find the power you need to break free. I'll give all I have. Good luck, young trickster. Do not forget yourself throughout your journey, and when the time comes for you to face the truth, you will not stand alone. Oh, Goro. Good morning. Akira? I didn't know you were working there. You look... interesting in this outfit. Yeah, I work here part-time. Gotta earn some extra cash in a legitimate way, you know? You look interesting, too. I wear my everyday attire. That doesn't change what I say. By the way, did you wash it after I wore it? Obviously. I am not a filthy trash. Mmm. You'd need to tell me the brand of this coffee-smelling laundry detergent you use, then. That's 2750 yen for you, honey. You know, Kasumi mentioned something interesting to me yesterday. Something about you asking for Maruki's office address. Oh, is that what this is about? You keeping tabs on me, Akira? I just find it curious is all. What business could you possibly have with Maruki? Oh, nothing much. After all, we're all living in his happy reality, aren't we? I thought it might be interesting to learn a bit more about the man behind the curtain. In a calm mindset. All right, fair enough. Just don't go doing anything you might regret. Don't worry, Akira. I'm not that reckless. Yeah, I know. You're more of the cool and quiet type. Keep the change. Have a bad day. Doesn't look bad for now. If it is not my new muse, Akechi-kun, what a delight. Oh, hello there, Kitagawa-kun. What brings you here? I am just grabbing some lunch from this convenience store. I have been working on my latest painting all morning and I needed a quick break. I must say, this little shop has some rather affordable options. I quite enjoy their instant noodles. I see. Madarami-sensei must be quite proud of your hard work. <laughs> yes, he is. I am finally starting to find my own style. I owe a lot to him. That's great to hear. You know, Kitagawa-kun, I couldn't help but notice something a little odd just now. E yes my muse? E your Oh, well, yes. It's surprising to see you eating such cheap food, Kitagawa-kun. I mean, I know you're a struggling artist, but I thought you were doing well under Madarami-sensei's guidance. What do you mean? I am doing great. Madarami-sensei is always pleased with my work, and I have been selling my paintings, too. Saying that I struggle would be far from the truth. I am happy to hear that. But don't you think it's a bit odd that you're enjoying cheap noodles even though you have the means to afford something better? I mean, you could easily buy some sushi or a bento box. I suppose you're right, but I have grew fond of the frugality of instant noodles lately. I get a feeling of familiarity and simplicity in enjoying those instant cups for lunch. But enough about me, Akechi-kun. How are you doing yourself lately? Oh, you know, same old, same old. Just trying to make the most of every day. You know, Kitagawa-kun, I've always been fascinated by the world of art. 
particularly the works of the great masters. Their ability to capture emotions and express them so vividly on canvas is astounding. Indeed, it is the pursuit of that same depth of expression that drives my own creations. I'd be delighted to discuss art with you further, perhaps even attend a gallery or museum together. That could be interesting, Akechi-kun. However, I have a proposal for you. Oh? What might that be? I have been seeking a new muse these last month, and I believe I've found one in you. I would like to paint your portrait, but with a specific theme in mind. I, I'm honored, Kitagawa-kun. What theme did you have in mind? Well, I have noticed something interesting about you, Akechi-kun. You seem to adapt your expressions and behavior depending on the person you talk to. Oh, y you're quite perceptive, Kitagawa-kun. It is perhaps an old detective habits of mine I struggle to let go. I find it fascinating. I'm not one to judge, but it is also a hindrance to genuine connections and honesty, would not you agree? Your sarcasm, melodic voice, and the shadows I see in your look have inspired me to paint the theme of ties to societal norms by picturing the opposite. I follow you so far. I am genuinely curious on to how you would interpret it on canvas. It is a very interesting idea, to say the least. I'd like to paint you as Adam, the biblical figure, before his descent and striving amongst men, vulnerable, bare, and in touch with the essence of humanity. Uh, Adam, y you mean without any clothes? Of course. It will be essential to capture the raw, unfiltered, untied essence of the human form. Are you willing to be my muse, Akechi-kun? I, uh, I... That's... Well, I, uh... Is... Is it destined to be put on display? Not if you do not so wish. It is mostly an exercise that shall deserve a personal purpose. Well, that's certainly bold. But are you sure you want me as your subject for such a personal theme? Absolutely. Your ability to expertly navigate social situations while maintaining an air of mystery has piqued my artistic curiosity. I believe that capturing your essence on canvas will be a powerful statement. I understand your concerns, Akechi-kun, but fear not. I will treat your form with the utmost respect and admiration. Your vulnerability will serve as a testament to your strength. I am positive we will both grow from this experience. Oh, God. Well, if it is for the sake of art, then I shall accept. I hope this unique experience will allow us to spend more time together in the future and foster a mutual understanding. Despite the uniqueness of the situation, I find myself being genuinely curious as to how your creative mind works. You need to promise me, though, to treat the entire process with utmost discretion. I place my trust in you on the matter. Of course, Akechi-kun. I promise to honor your trust. Together, we will create a masterpiece that reveals the beauty of our true selves. I look forward to our artistic collaboration, Akechi-kun. Yes, me too, Kitagawa. Just tell me when you want to do it, and I'll be there.